Welcome back. Thanks, Mark. It's good so, to be back. You were missed yesterday, but you had every good reason in the world to not be here in the studio yesterday. Well, thank you. Muffins um, with mom and Mac. Mm-hmm. And and it kind of was a donut with mom. <laughs> okay. You, you know, they had lots of options there. And okay. uh, so I had a donut. And of course, Mac had two did chocolate. He, did he go with the goat? I he love did. that he calls chocolate the goat. <laughs> So, I know he's so my kid. Um, yeah, we had a good little breakfast, and uh, so I let him drink some coffee, which yeah. we usually don't do. And of course, it was like three quarters creamer, and a little <laughs> right, bit of coffee, right, 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 a little bit of coffee with all um, your cream. He was pumped about that. We had a good little visit and uh, met a few new moms, and so you know, good uh-huh, times. Good that's time. awesome. And the thing, like, I mean, this is kind of sad, but like. There's not that many more of these. I like, know. I growing, like, I know. I thought the same thing. I, I'm guessing there will not be junior high and high school muffins with mom. Maybe there should be, but yeah, they kind of get into that stage when they get a little bit older where they're not always so sure they want to do some of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, I one thing I loved on the way to school because I don't get to take him to school. Yeah. And and I used to all the time and, and I miss that and but just driving him to school was fun. It was fun waking him up and just that all of that. Yeah. I, you know, and on the way to school he was just like chatty. Oh, just that's sharing awesome. all kinds of stuff, you know, and, and I and I think he was excited too. Yeah. Oh, uh, you could tell. Yeah. Just in his voice when you guys recorded that yesterday, I was like, "He's pumped up." Yeah, he really is so we up. had a great time. So that is awesome. I love my little man. And That's awesome. Now he's turning into my big man. Uh-huh. Growing up, drinking coffee, all doing it, or at least but, cream and a little yeah. bit of coffee. <laughs> drinking the cream, a little bit of coffee. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. Ninety point nine KLRC. <laughs> Ready for some good news? We are, too. Here's your positive difference story of the day. Okay, Mark, I just love this so much. So this reporter was at the the Super Bowl opening night. So basically they have these events leading up to the Super Bowl. Yeah. They have all the big names, all Mm -hmm. the players. They're all out there. Hundreds of media people. Sure, from all over the world. Yes, to interview and get as much as they can um, in an interview from these guys. Um, and you would think that would be the highlight, but really what stole the show was this reporter. Okay. And the reason why is because the reporter is 11 years old. <laughs> so an 11-year-old got cred- credentials? Yes. Okay. Yes. The NFL Network stumbled on this guy. He had a YouTube channel. His name is Jeremiah Fennell. Super well-spoken young man. Okay. And... Jeremiah said when he was seven years old, he was dealing with some medical issues and he could not play sports anymore, but he loves sports. He knows sports. He absorbs them like crazy. And so he put it in his head. I'm going to be a journalist and I'm going to ask people questions. I want to talk to these athletes for a living. And it's been in his mind and that has been his mission. And he is fantastic. At 11 years old, he's actually getting to do it. Yes. He's so poised. I mean, it, it, you need to look him up. Okay. Jeremiah Fennell. He's 11 now. And uh, I'm just going to let you listen. This is just one clip. He's interviewing tight end Travis Kelsey from the Kansas City okay. Chiefs. Yeah. All right. I mean, he interviewed Patrick Mahomes, all these big names. All right. And here he is with uh, Travis Kelsey. My name, up, dude? my name is Jeremiah. I am an 11 year old. Sharp gentleman right here. I'm an 11 year old local journalist here in Las Vegas, Nevada, okay. and I'm here with NFL Network. It's such an honor, such a pleasure to be speaking to you. It's a pleasure today. to meet you, Bert. Okay. Very well spoken, man. Thank you. So, my first question to you is <laughs> oh, every season, social media has been buzzing about your touchdown celebrations, whether it's the spanky leg in the Super Bowl, <laughs> the heart in the air in the AFC Championship, or a choreographed dance in the end zone. So, can we expect any surprise celebrations in your first touchdown in the Super Bowl? It's so, so good. Will that be solo or as a team? I got it. I got to start thinking about it. I haven't thought about it quite yet. Um, who knows? Maybe during the uh, red zone period in practice, I'll, I'll I'll test out a few. You got any good ones for me? You got any requests? <laughs> Honestly, no. Come on. What would, you, what would you do if you got in the end zone? I mean, as a football, I, I really just do a spike. I don't really try to do any crazy <laughs> celebrations. Spike okay. is electric. I'm with that. <laughs> He's so good. Isn't that great? That's a really impressive. And he was talking to Patrick Mahomes. They're going back and forth about a fantasy football team. But then he asks deeper questions. You know, like, how do you feel when you were in this moment? I was just so impressed with this guy. 
and just knowing what he wants to do and being locked in and going after it. You Somebody's know? got to give him a permanent job. I, like he's ready. I know. He was doing just as well as everybody else. <laughs> I, I was super blown away by him. And uh, I just think he definitely has a, a bright future and totally. for sure inspiring to all of us. That is our positive different story of the day. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. And Madison from Kane joins us this morning. Hi, guys. It's Madison. Hey, Madison. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today. Hi, guys. How are you doing? We're good. Hey, we're. I'm um, looking forward to, super excited. Uh, you guys are making a little stop for Winter Jam. You're going to be in Tulsa on March 1st and Little Rock on March 2nd. So we'll talk a little more about that, too. Um, but we'd love to just spend a little more time catching up, getting to know you guys. Uh, for those who don't know, we definitely, our family knows your songs. The KLRC family has loved Yes He Can and Rise Up and The Commission and Any More. Um, not everybody might know you guys are all siblings. Logan, Taylor, and Madison. Sibling yes, band. Yes. Sibling band. <laughs> right. I, I can't emphasize that enough <laughs> that we are not married to each other. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, okay, so I'm curious as kids growing up were you guys the siblings that were like man we are so tight we're kind of always getting together we thought we'd do something together forever or not oh no well no i don't think that anybody could have planned that we would get to keep being a band together for this long you know i think that being a professional musician was more on par with being an astronaut (laughs) <laughs> like we had we had we had regular plans for our life. You know, I got my advertising degree and I was, you know, trying to go and move to Nashville and have a marketing job. That's what I was gonna do and Taylor had an internship with this um music publishing company and Logan was like, I don't know I don't know what Logan was gonna do. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, even now he was like, I don't think I have another skill. <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> yeah, but growing up, we were homeschooled and pastor's kids. So our the only friends we had were each other, you know. <laughs> so we all, we lived in a small house and we all shared one bedroom for way too long. And then we all chose to go to the same college. And then after college, we all got an apartment together. So... I think that we didn't have plans to do anything big and cool, but we did have plans to just be together. Mm. Oh, well, just looking at, you know, you guys, y'all make the best videos, by the way. They're so fun oh. to watch. that They just have that depth to them, but also that feel-good fun vibe going on. So you just want to keep watching yes. them. And it, it seems like you all just get along so great and have just this wonderful relationship. And, and I know you tour together, so you're pretty much together all the time. Oh, and we we fight like crazy. We fight so much. (laughs) Who's the peacemaker? Oh, and I'm the peacemaker, so I'm so stressed (laughs) out. I'm stressed all the time. So, um, yeah, so it's something where it comes in waves. Anytime there's a high-pressure situation, we're all having to make choices for each other's families about who comes out on the road and do we get a second bus and all this stuff that's so expensive and Mm. we're trying to figure that out. And so that stuff can, we can end up fighting, but we've all been to therapy. So we fight so properly, but it's (laughs) so, that's awesome. Like I'm validating what you're saying. Like (laughs) what I I hear you saying. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, it's all of that. It's so exhausting. So, (laughs) There's sometimes where I'm like, where are the cameras? This is, this is good. But I, I think that we're on a fun streak right now. That's kind of my, I've sort of decided that I can't be the mediator anymore. I'm just going to be the good time. So I'm, nice. I'm just going to laugh all this off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good plan. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Madison from Kane hanging out with us this morning. Now, each of you have had a new kiddo on the scene, right? Right. What so, are we thinking? <laughs> this, what? Is, this, is, this is crazy. No, it is. It makes it 
so much more fun having the kids out. It is, it's so good because we have, you know, Logan has, River is a couple months shy of being two. Cal, my son, is 18 months. Taylor's daughter is 19 days younger than Cal. So they're oh, wow. almost like twins. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And then, and then younger than Stevie, we have Logan's second born, Rosie, and she's just three months old. So they're all, there's four babies under here, all under two. And um, I think, honestly, Winter Jam has been a little bit challenging because it's winter. So it's like, all right, kids, do you guys want to play on the forklift in the arena? Or do y'all want to play in the snow? Or where do we put y'all? <laughs> That's hilarious. What are we doing? Wow. And, you know, like we, they played with all their toys. And so now it's like, all right, well, we go on it. 9 p.m. So next up, we're going to play a game where we throw this cup back and forth. I don't know what to do with you guys. Right. So, so we're we're getting there. I'm I'm becoming like a, a little baby tour guide where I'm like, all right, we're going to go to the kids museum. Let's load up. So. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> you guys get like a front row seat, maybe in a different way than most people do to each other's parenting skill or lack of i was just thinking you guys are oh. like and everybody does it even if you're siblings right you just do it a little bit different that'd be an interesting experience like okay like we're all probably navigating this our own unique way yes and you know every kid is different yeah. so and because river is a little bit older than cal i mean kind of watching some of the things that they go through and i'm thinking like okay this could be coming for me <laughs> in a couple months so <laughs> what what should i do and, you know, we, but we've been trying to somehow, you can't parent each other and tell each other how to parent kids, but you also kind of have to be on the same page because sometimes if River doesn't get what she wants from mommy and daddy, she wants Aunt Mad to uh, get it. So I, I, I kind of have to make sure, kind of make sure that we're on the same page. Same right. Thing, you know, yeah. Stevie, Taylor's little girl. She was upset about something, and Taylor's husband had to be like, Madison, don't pick her up. Like, she was kind of throwing a little fit, and I was just holding her and saying, it's okay, and <laughs> petting her. It's like, no, no, she's in trouble. Like, she's supposed to be in trouble. Mm. Well, out of each one of you, who, what would you, in one sentence for each one of you, how would you describe your parenting style? Oh, well, so, I am, I'm not doing too good right now. <laughs> I, just yesterday, um pretended that Cal wasn't disobeying me. So I'm going to have to <laughs> try a new strategy. Because <laughs> I just, I thought I was going to be so strict just because it's like I, you know, you watch other people's kids and you just see them like, they're being disrespectful. Like, I'm not going to allow that. And then just yesterday, Cal looked at me and he threw th something on the ground. And I looked at him and I was just like, buddy, do not throw that on the ground. And then he did it again. And I looked at him and I said, uh-oh, I guess you dropped it. <laughs> and it's like, no, he didn't drop it. He threw it. But I'm not in a place to want to, like, bust at him, you know? Yeah. He's so beautiful. He's so sweet. I love his little face. So I think that I've become a little bit of a permissive parent. So, but I'm working on it. Okay. All I'm right. Not gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to fix it. I've been watching videos. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. We're talking with Madison, part of the Kane Band. They're going to be in Tulsa March 1st for Winter Jam. Uh, Little Rock on March 2nd. So a couple of chances to catch them and Crowder and Katie Nicole and the whole crew. Hey, I want to ask you about a song. Uh, I, I mentioned a lot of us know Yes, He Can and Rise Up and mm. The Commission mm. Anymore. Love it. There's a song that um, our listeners, some of them at least, may not know about. But there's a really powerful story behind it. I wanted to ask you about it. The song yeah. Windows Down. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Yes. So um, Logan's wife, it's something that is, is truly remarkable because Emily, she comes from just a family history of alcohol addiction. And it's something that. You know, when you're in college, sometimes addiction can be mismarked as, oh, just being young or having fun. Um, but she was really, really struggling and just felt like she didn't have any control over her, her life and her situation. And 
honestly just felt so out of place in church and just didn't feel like she belonged. And so one day she was driving down the road and she was just at the end of her rope and she just cried out and was like, God, if you are real, I need you. And she was radically saved to the point where she had to pull over and mm. a police officer pulled behind her and thought that she was drinking. She's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I just for, for once, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> like she was just so emotional about like experiencing the presence of God for the first time in her life. And so Emily, she now celebrates over five years of sobriety. Mm. And we just, we wanted to write a song to celebrate just that meeting God on the road. And so the the message of the song is that, like, you don't have to be in a church. You don't have to be on your knees in prayer. You can be right where you are, and God will meet you there. So that's, that's the message of Windows Down. And I just love getting to see it because there are so many people out there that have family members or they themselves are struggling with addiction. Mm-hmm. And every, people need to know that there's there's a life on the other side of all that. Mm, that's so good. I bet mm. that police officers never pulled over anyone where they're so overtaken because of. <laughs> I know yeah. that's so awesome. It's <laughs> yeah. so incredible. Like, no, no, I'll walk a straight line. I'm just like I'm just really emotional. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that's an amazing story, and and that's beautiful that she even allows you all to use her story, and now it's impacting yeah. thousands and thousands of people. So, what yeah. a gift. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. This morning we've been hanging out with Madison from Kane, just having the best conversation. I know we've got to run and let you go, but before we let you go, one quick question about Winter Jam. Such a unique group of artists and you guys are heading all over the country. What have been some of your favorite experiences so far? What's really hit you this tour? Oh, man, honestly, just whenever we get to sing the commission and I see people closing their eyes in worship, especially getting to see like elementary age kids singing and worshiping, it just I just I almost feel like they're watching me, but I'm watching them. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to see them experience things of the song. Another thing, this is our first time as a band shooting off confetti. And so I feel like I have won the national championship every night. Like I'm just standing <laughs> under it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. I, I'm like, we are the champions. It's like, you didn't do anything. You're just standing there. But you're just saying I'm so blessed, and now you're getting to take a victory lap. That's so amazing. It, it, it's truly, it's just been really fun. Wow. Wow. Well, we love you guys. We love your heart and um, and so oh, thankful for what God's already done and looking forward to more and more great songs. And uh, and again, great chance to catch you guys either in Tulsa on March 1st for Winter Jam or Little Rock on March 2nd. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. Yes. Oh, you guys are so fun. I hope that you guys have a great day. And please, please come to the show. Maybe Absolutely. A, a little a confetti hookup. My husband has been in charge of shooting that off. So nice. if you want to be a part of that, I'll, I'll I'll hook you up. You can throw some in. You got the inside track. I've got the inside. <laughs> well, we're, we're right in between Tulsa and Little Rock in a way. So, yeah, we, you know, you, literally do both. you all should just stop uh-huh. in and see us here at the studio, <laughs> right too. We'd love it. Yeah. But, oh, we should. Bring all the kids. (laughs) Bring the circus. You might regret that, but we will bring them. (laughs) The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I'm bringing the party to you. So let's do some celebrating. It's time for the Marketplace Grill Birthday Bash. It's Thursday, February the 8th. And celebrating today, Abby Wagoner in Venita, Oklahoma, turning 10, double digits today. Nice. And uh, yeah, and Crystal Enriquez, 49, and Rogers, happy birthday. And Patia Pippen in Siloam Springs having a birthday today. Happy birthday as well to Brandon King, celebrating today in Springdale. And Cami Hefner in Siloam Springs, all celebrating birthdays today. All right, all right. Happy birthday, everybody. And we're going to put all your names in the randomizer. We've got a gift certificate for one of you to celebrate with our friends at the Marketplace Grill. And congrats to Cami Hefner. 
Our winner of the birthday bash today. Happy birthday, Cammie.